Gospel of the Day from the Gospel according to Matthew Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 20 Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples Who do people say that the son of man is They replied Some say John the Baptist others Elijah still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets He said to them But who do you say that I am Simon Peter said in reply You are the Christ the son of the living God Jesus said to him in reply Blessed are you Simon son of Jona For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my heavenly father and so i say to you you are peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it i will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the christ in today's gospel reading jesus is preaching in the region of caesarea philippi this is an interesting city since its name comes from two well known people the name caesarea comes from augustus caesar who was the emperor of rome during the time of the birth of jesus His statues were erected throughout the empire for the people to worship. The king of this region, Philip, renamed the city by adding his own name to it. This city at that time was inhabited by Greeks and Romans and had temples also dedicated to Baal and other pagan gods. Now Jesus and the disciples are standing in a place surrounded by many gods. Then Jesus asks, Who do people say that the son of man is? It was not a difficult question for them to answer since it was all about people's opinions. Those who had seen Jesus performing miracles highly esteemed him. Many people thought that he was John the Baptist. Some others Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Now Jesus asks a very personal question. But who do you say that I am? It was Peter who answers, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. This question of Jesus and the profession of faith by Peter constitute the essence of Christianity. Our Christian life is based on our relationship with Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We are all in friendship with Jesus. and this relationship gives meaning to our life then we reside with saint paul it is no longer i who live but christ who lives in me today many people admire jesus because they love his ideas his personality or his kindness to everyone but we love jesus because he is our savior jesus continues to ask the same question to each one of us But who do you say that I am? This question must be answered from the depths of our heart. We should answer like Peter. Jesus, you are everything for me. I love you dearly and I need you in my life. I allow you to take possession of my life. When Jesus becomes everything for us, we must be able to love our brothers and sisters as they also reflect the face of Jesus. Let us today share the joy of our faith with our brothers and sisters. Let us open ourselves to the love of Jesus and allow him to take possession of our lives.